Have you ever wondered what it's like to visit Australia? Known as the Wonder Down Under, Australia is a treasure trove of rich culture, diverse wildlife, and stunning landscapes, making it a must-visit destination. This video will take you on a virtual tour of the top 10 places in Australia that you simply cannot miss. From the urban charm of Sydney to the natural allure of the Great Barrier Reef, there's something for everyone. So buckle up, as we take you on an unforgettable journey across Australia. Starting off our list is the iconic Sydney Opera House, a masterpiece of late modern architecture and a symbol of both Sydney and the Australian nation. The Opera House is more than just a building. It's a story of vision, ambition, and a testament to the power of public space. Its unique design, resembling a flotilla of sailboats floating in the harbor, is the brainchild of Danish architect Jorn Utzen. His innovative concept, though initially met with controversy, has since become one of the most recognizable architectural forms in the world. But the Sydney Opera House is more than just a pretty face, it's the vibrant heart of Australia's cultural scene, hosting over 1,500 performances annually. From the timeless classics of opera, ballet, and symphony, to contemporary music, theater, and dance, it offers a stage to all forms of artistic expression. In its foyers, halls, and studios, you'll find a constant hum of creative energy. It's a place where the world's leading artists and performers come together with audiences to share in the power and joy of live performance. And it's not just about what's on stage. The Opera House's location, flanked by the Royal Botanic Garden and the Sydney Harbour Bridge, offers breathtaking views and a unique experience that's quintessentially Sydney. So, whether you're an art lover or simply a lover of great architecture, Sydney Opera House is a must-visit. After all, a visit to Australia wouldn't be complete without seeing a performance at the Sydney Opera House. Next up is the breathtaking Great Barrier Reef. Stretching over 2,000 kilometers along the Queensland coastline, this vibrant underwater universe is the largest coral reef system on the planet. It's an ecological powerhouse, home to thousands of species of fish, hundreds of types of coral, and a plethora of other marine creatures. It's a living, breathing palette of the most brilliant hues you can imagine, painting an underwater landscape that is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The Great Barrier Reef isn't just a natural wonder to be admired from afar. It invites us to dive in, to immerse ourselves in its world, to become part of its rhythm. Whether you're a seasoned diver or a first-timer, these waters beckon with a promise of discovery. Imagine floating weightless in the warm, clear waters surrounded by a school of vibrant clownfish. Or perhaps you'd prefer to paddle in a glass-bottom boat, peering into the depths below. For the more adventurous, there's the thrill of deep-sea diving, where you can come face to face with a majestic sea turtle or a gentle manta ray. But the Great Barrier Reef is more than just a playground for adventure seekers. It's also a vital ecosystem that plays a crucial role in our planet's health. The reef acts as a natural buffer, protecting the coast from the harsh ocean waves. It's also a hotbed of biological research, offering scientists invaluable insights into marine life and climate change. Visiting the Great Barrier Reef is not just about the spectacle of its beauty. It's about understanding its importance and committing to its preservation. Every visitor is a potential ambassador for the reef, helping to spread awareness and drive conservation efforts. So whether you're a diver, a snorkeler, a boater, or a conservationist at heart, the Great Barrier Reef has something to offer you. It's a world of wonder and discovery, of adventure and learning, of beauty and responsibility. Diving into the waters of the Great Barrier Reef is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Our next stop takes us to the heart of Australia, to the magnificent Uluru. Seemingly rising out of nowhere, this enormous sandstone monolith is a sight to behold. But Uluru is much more than just an awe-inspiring natural landscape. It's a deeply spiritual place, steeped in rich indigenous culture. For the Anangu people, the traditional custodians of this land, Uluru is a sacred site, filled with ancient stories and spiritual significance. It is believed to have been formed by ancestral beings during the dream time, the aboriginal understanding of the world and its creation. Every crevice, cave, and abrasion on Uluru's surface tells a part of this intricate tapestry of myth and legend. Uluru's natural features are equally captivating. Its massive size and changing colors make it a visual spectacle. It shifts from a fiery red at dawn to a burnished orange during the day, and then to a mystical purple at dusk. This chameleon-like transformation is a sight to behold, especially during sunrise and sunset. These are the moments when Uluru truly comes alive, 
its hues intensifying against the backdrop of the darkening sky. This grandeur, combined with its deep spiritual roots, makes Uluru a destination that transcends the usual tourist experience. It's a place where you can connect with the ancient soul of Australia, where you can feel the pulse of the land and its timeless stories. Uluru, a spiritual and visual spectacle, is a testament to Australia's ancient heritage. From the desert, we move to the lush Daintree rainforest. As we journey from arid plains to a verdant oasis, we find ourselves in the heart of a living, breathing masterpiece that has been millions of years in the making. The Daintree Rainforest, one of the oldest rainforests in the world, is a sanctuary of sublime beauty and stunning biodiversity. This magnificent rainforest, located in tropical North Queensland, is home to the highest number of plant and animal species that are rare or threatened with extinction anywhere in the world. The Daintree is a veritable treasure trove of unique wildlife, hosting creatures such as the elusive cassowary, the tree-dwelling kangaroo, and even the ancient primitive-looking lungfish. In addition to being a wildlife wonderland, the Daintree Rainforest boasts an impressive variety of flora. Towering trees draped in vines, vibrant ferns, and exotic orchids create a layered green landscape that is both breathtaking and humbling. The Daintree is also home to ancient species of plants which date back millions of years, earning it the nickname the Time Capsule of Life. But the Daintree is more than just a natural spectacle. The rainforest is steeped in rich indigenous culture, with the local Kuku Yalanji people having lived in harmony with the land for thousands of years. Their deep connection with the forest, passed down through generations, narrates a story of respect and reverence for the environment. The Daintree offers a wealth of ecotourism opportunities for those looking to explore this ancient wonderland from guided tours led by indigenous locals to wildlife spotting cruises and canopy walks, there are countless ways to immerse yourself in the forest's enchanting allure. The Daintree is a place where you can disconnect from the modern world and connect with nature in its purest form. This is a place that truly encapsulates the essence of life itself, where every leaf, every creature, every drop of rain tells a story of survival and evolution. The Daintree Rainforest is a testament to the enduring power of nature and the beautiful complexity of our planet. A walk through the Daintree Rainforest is like stepping back in time. It's a journey into the heart of our world's history, where every step takes you deeper into a world that has survived and thrived for millions of years. It's an experience that leaves you with a profound sense of awe and respect for the natural world. Next, we head south to the stunning Twelve Apostles. An iconic Australian landmark, the Twelve Apostles is a collection of limestone stacks off the shore of Port Campbell National Park in Victoria. These majestic pillars are the result of constant erosion from the Southern Ocean over millions of years. The harsh and unforgiving sea gradually wore down the soft limestone cliffs to form caves, which then became arches, and when they collapsed, they left these stacks that rise up to 45 meters from the sea. Despite their name, only eight apostles remain standing as Mother Nature's relentless work continues. The Twelve Apostles are a testament to the power of nature and a symbol of time's relentless march. They are best experienced at dawn or dusk when the sun paints the cliffs with hues of orange and pink, creating an ethereal and breathtaking spectacle. For a bird's eye view, helicopter tours offer an unforgettable perspective, soaring over the apostles and revealing their sheer size and grandeur. Alternatively, for those who prefer a more grounded approach, a stroll along the beach lets you feel the ocean spray and hear the roar of the waves as they crash against these ancient sentinels. The Twelve Apostles, standing tall against the might of the ocean, is a sight not to be missed. They are a testament to the beauty of natural erosion and a reminder of the ever-changing world that surrounds us. Each visit offers a unique experience as the landscape continues to evolve in the face of time and tide. Now let's head west to the mysterious Pinnacles. Nestled in the heart of Western Australia's Nambung National Park, the Pinnacles are an enigmatic and captivating sight. These incredible limestone formations, rising out of the barren desert like otherworldly sentinels, have been shaped over thousands of years. The result is an eerie yet beautiful landscape that seems to belong more to the realm of fantasy than reality. The origins of the Pinnacles are shrouded in mystery but scientists believe they were formed from seashells thousands of years ago. Over time, wind and water worked their magic, transforming these shells into the stunning limestone pillars we see today. Some stand as tall as three and a half meters, creating a dramatic and unique landscape that's unlike anything else on Earth. 
Visiting the pinnacles is like stepping into another world. The best time to capture their beauty is at dawn or dusk when the sun paints the sky in hues of pink, orange, and purple. During these hours, the pinnacles cast long, haunting shadows across the desert, creating a photographer's dream. It's a sight that's sure to leave an indelible imprint on your memory. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a budding explorer, the pinnacles offer a unique and awe-inspiring experience. It's a place where you can witness firsthand the power and beauty of nature, and the incredible artistry that comes from thousands of years of wind and water sculpting the earth. The Pinnacles, a labyrinth of limestone, is a testament to nature's artistry. Our next stop is a wildlife haven, Kangaroo Island. Let's dive into this extraordinary destination, a sanctuary teeming with iconic Australian animals in their natural habitats. Situated off the mainland of South Australia, Kangaroo Island is the third largest island in the country. It's a place of pure wonder, where nature thrives and wildlife roams free. From bounding kangaroos and slumbering koalas to playful sea lions, this island is a living showcase of Australia's biodiversity. The island's commitment to conservation is commendable. The Hanson Bay Wildlife Sanctuary, for instance, is a refuge for a host of native species. This sanctuary is a testament to the island's dedication to preserving its unique ecosystems and ensuring the survival of its inhabitants. And let's not forget about the opportunities for wildlife viewing. Whether you're embarking on a guided nocturnal tour to see the elusive echidna, or you're visiting the Seal Bay Conservation Park to watch the sea lions bask in the sun, there's always something to marvel at. But Kangaroo Island isn't just about the wildlife. It's also a place of stunning landscapes. From its rugged cliffs and pristine beaches to its expansive bushland, every corner of this island offers a feast for the senses. So, if you're yearning for a close encounter with Australia's unique fauna in a setting that is as breathtaking as it is serene, look no further than Kangaroo Island. On Kangaroo Island, you'll find yourself in the company of Australia's unique wildlife. Next, we head back to the coast, to the world-famous Bondi Beach. This place is more than just a beach. It's a lifestyle, a spirit, a cultural experience. The heart of Australia's vibrant surf culture, Bondi Beach is a mecca for surf enthusiasts, drawing them in droves from across the globe. The beach is a bustling hub of activity, where you'll find both locals and tourists alike, all basking in the glorious Australian sun, sand beneath their feet, surfboards in hand. This is where the city meets the sea, creating a unique blend of urban chic and beachy relaxation. And let's not forget the coastal walk, an iconic journey that stretches from Bondi to Kuji. This path offers breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean, cliffs, bays, and rock pools. It's a must-do for any visitor, a chance to immerse oneself in the natural beauty of the coastline and to truly feel the heartbeat of Bondi. At Bondi Beach, you can soak up the sun while catching a wave. Our penultimate destination is the expansive Kakadu National Park. As we venture into this vast wilderness, we encounter a mosaic of ecosystems, from the arid stone country to the lush monsoon rainforests, all teeming with an array of unique wildlife. This incredible diversity extends beneath the surface, into the intricate network of billabongs and floodplains, and reaches skywards with the towering escarpments that dominate the landscape. Kakadu is not only a natural paradise, but also a cultural treasure. The park is home to some of the oldest indigenous rock art in the world, a testament to the rich cultural heritage of the indigenous people who have lived here for tens of thousands of years. And for those with a keen eye, the bird-watching opportunities are second to none. With more than 200 species residing here, from the majestic sea eagle to the elusive night parrot, the skies of Kakadu are a birdwatcher's dream. Kakadu National Park, where nature and culture intertwine, awaits your exploration. Finally, we reach the southernmost part of our journey, Hobart and Tasmania. Nestled at the foot of Mount Wellington, Hobart teems with a rich history that dates back to its establishment as a British colony in the early 19th century. The city's sandstone warehouses now serve as cafes, restaurants, and art studios, offering a unique blend of the old and the new. Venture beyond the city, and you'll find yourself in the heart of Tasmania, an island renowned for its pristine wilderness and breathtaking landscapes. From the rugged peaks of Cradle Mountain to the tranquil shores of Wineglass Bay, Tasmania's natural beauty is nothing short of a feast for the senses. Don't forget to pay a visit to the Museum of Old and New Art, a must-see for any culture enthusiast. Here, contemporary pieces coexist with ancient artifacts, 
reflecting the eclectic charm of Tasmania. In Hobart and Tasmania, you'll find a blend of history, culture, and stunning natural beauty. And there you have it, the top 10 places to visit in Australia. From the iconic Sydney Opera House to the breathtaking Great Barrier Reef, the majestic Uluru, the lush Daintree Rainforest, and the stunning Twelve Apostles. Don't forget the mysterious pinnacles, the charming Kangaroo Island, the vibrant Bondi Beach, and the expansive Kakadu National Park. Last but not least, the quaint Hobart and the wild Tasmania. Australia, with its diverse landscapes and rich culture, awaits your visit. Until then, keep exploring and stay curious.